is Make It Monday, you're going to be needing some fry light, an egg, a pack of the uh, King's Mill wholemeal sandwich thins. Each sort of two pieces which make a sandwich of these is one of your healthy extra bees. A can of stewed steak, the free one here is from Aldi, this would be completely sin free. And either two small or one large onion which you need to chop into small pieces. And then obviously you're going to need a baking tray as well. So the first thing we're going to do with the ingredients here is squirt some of your fry light into your frying pan wok, whatever you've got there that you can fry some onions off in. And just on a medium heat, we're going to put the onions into there and just stir them around until they go golden brown. So if you're not a lover of onions, you can also do this with um, sliced up mushrooms or you can just leave the vegetables out all together. But it just does get a little bit of your speed food in there if you're doing mushrooms or onions. You can of course put carrots in there as well, chopped up carrots and sweet perhaps to make it into more, more of a Cornish pasty type thing. Um, red onions work really well with this as well. You could add perhaps a drizzle of balsamic vinegar into your red onions and get them to caramelise. I'm sure that would add quite a lot of flavour as well. But for today I'm keeping mine as a traditional steak and onion pasty. So in between just coming back to the onions every 30 seconds or so and giving them a stir just to make sure they don't catch on the bottom. We've turned the oven on to 200 degrees to preheat and I've popped the egg into a, a mug and I'm just going to give it a whisk around. This is going to be used to brush over the top of the pasties to make them nice and golden and also around the edges to sort of glue the pasty top and bottom together. So the next step is to lay the six bottoms out on your baking tray ready to fill with your steak and onion filling. And what I'm doing here is I've just got a small bowl and I'm just tipping the tin upside down and trying to extract as much of the liquid from the steak as possible. We don't want soggy bottoms. So as you can see here, I'm just squashing down the steak, just leaving a small gap around the outside, which is where we're gonna seal the pasties up. So I've done two there, I'm just on the third. So I'm just literally squashing it down with the fork and then making it into a nice square shape in the center of the bread. And as you can see there, that's all six done. So we're now gonna get our nice browned onions, which have just been cooking away nicely there they're all lovely and golden now and we're just going to take approximately a dessert spoon of onions into each of the um, steak bakes here so I've just added a dessert spoon of the onions to each of the steak bakes and as you can see I've not overfilled them I'm going to go back in and flatten them with the back of the spoon any onions that are left over don't be tempted to put them in and overfill them just pop them into your gravy you can add a little bit of diluted uh, oxo cube water in with this thick gravy just to make the gravy go a bit further for you you'll have a nice onion gravy but what we're going to do now is just flatten those down with the back of that dessert spoon and we're going to brush the edges with some egg and pop the tops on I'll show you that in a minute so I'll just show you the first steak bake done you can either use a fork to sort of crimp the edges of this and squash it down don't be afraid give it a really good firm press around the edges to seal everything in so we don't get too much oozing and I'm just going to go along now and finish the rest of the six off. So we've got all six done and I'm just going to use whatever egg is left over to brush over the top so they go nice and golden brown. Okay, so we're all egged up and we're going to put these in. Mine's fan assisted, 200 degrees, 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep your eye on them. Don't let them burn. That's all you need because obviously the stewing steak and the onions are already cooked. It is literally just to crisp, brown and warm everything through. So I've just added um, a heat dessert spoon of these chicken granules and around about 100ml of water. As you can see it's quite loose now with the rest of the ingredients in there. But I've just put that on a medium heat and I'm just going to let it reduce down while the steak bakes are cooking just to make a nice sin free gravy. So as you can see there we've got a lovely just the right consistency gravy, it's thickened up a treat. You've got all the extra little bits of steak in there, leftover onions, and obviously that chicken stock is really good. It's got herbs and things in. And because I'm on a red day, I'm doing a couple of red days before weighing. So I'm gonna be having mine with baby corn, which you are actually allowed on red days. And Mr. Dival is gonna be having his with mushy peas. And of course, we'll be drizzling that lovely gravy over the top. So when you lift your steak bakes out of the oven, they should look something like this. And as you see, they should be nice and crisp on the top. And you've got your lovely gravy. I've just heated that back through again. And all you need to do now is dish up with whatever you're having with it. Obviously, 
mashed potato if you're on extra easy would be fantastic with either of these dishes and yeah let's have a look and see what it all looks like dished up and there you go folks so mr diebels is there and i can also enjoy two steak bakes with my baby corn because i'm on a red day so i get two bees and i've served them especially for this meal and obviously because there's six in the pack mr diebels got two to take to work with him as well in his pack up so i hope you enjoyed this week's make it mondays weather's not been overly good but these are always great to have in a pack up or indeed as an evening meal fill in comfort food just as i promised this series and i will see you next week in Make It Mondays.